Hello, everybody. I'm Jessica. Um, I happen to be one of the Steam Machine people. Um, I happen to have it right, right down there. Um, I'm going to unbox it, and uh, it's going to be a little awkward because it's just me here. So I'm going to have to try to hold the camera and do this myself. So this could get a little weird, but hey. So here it is. Um, it's a pretty cool box. Um, mine apparently is, the, the box is a little damaged. Um, here's my cat who seems to be very curious about this. Um, and my other cat who's going to be very vocal throughout this and come up to the camera. But yeah, you can see there's these straps on here. I don't know if this box was like this when it shipped or if it happened during the shipment. Um, there is a shock thing here and it seems to look fine. Um, so I'm going to guess that this is probably just fine, but you can kind of see the wood here and it doesn't look like there's the other piece of the hinge. So I'm going to guess that this shipped this way. It's, uh, it's on there pretty tight and I can't move this top, so anyway, this is uh, teasing. I know you actually want to see the inside of the box, so I suppose I should uh, I should do that, huh? All right, so we got some scissors. Let's get this thing. Oh, that's one part of it. Apparently I suck at cutting for straps. There we go, there's one. And we'll go over here. There's two. All right. Get that out of here. All right. So we got this lid here, and it is not moving, so. That. And foam. So here's the actual machine itself. It looks like this was supposed to open all nice, but um, here's the, the lever that's supposed to hold the case open. So maybe I'll have to fix this. When, uh, when it's done. But let's get this. This is actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, so here's the machine. It's actually quite heavy, surprisingly. Um, I'll take that out of the plastic shortly. Here's the rest of it. Um, we've got the little booklet thing, and some important information. Um, I'll take a look at that in a second. We've got all of our cables. It's actually pretty awesome that they sent all that. And then we've got what this recovery thumb drive for SteamOS. You can see the official sticker that they put on the thumb drive. Pretty awesome. Um, and here is the controller. It's actually pretty light. Um, very surprisingly light. Um, here's the back. These click. That's interesting. Um, and then there's two triggers on the top. Looks like a charging port. And we've got the four buttons up here. Here, where the I think the production touchscreen will be, and then we've got pretty much everything you've seen in the uh, graphics on Seems website. These are clicky touch pads. They're not real. Um, I thought they'd be kind of more rubbery, like you'd see on um, some track pads, but it's fairly smooth plastic with the little ridges. So. Um, 
That's pretty nice. Feels pretty good in the hand. Um, all right. So, is there anything? Just a little bit of information about where everything plugs in. I like that instruction. Um, so, not a whole ton of info, um, just a little bit, you know, important info. I'll look through that more later. So let's take this thing out of its plastic. I should probably do this not on carpet. Let's bring this up. Um, here, give me a second. I will pause. It will be a jump. Okay, so got some warning. Observe precaution for handling electrostatic sensitive devices. Um, I have grounded myself already before this. So I should be fine. Um, there we go. It's a brand new table, so I don't want to scratch it up. Um, this is that part that's different with one hand. Difficult, excuse me, with one hand. Um, well, while we're here, here's the back. It's like all sorts of different ports. This is kind of a little blurry, but. Um, lots of connectors, like a standard PC would have, so that's pretty cool. Um, looks like built-in external Wi-Fi antennas, um, USB 2, USB 3, we've got optical audio, and then standard audio, network cable, um, over here we've got uh, I don't know if you can see this. There's an HDMI. I'm going to tip this up. That's a little better. So we've got our HDMI here, standard power cable, a couple of DVI, and yeah, you can see that a lot better here. There's another DVI up here. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Um, so it's like more connections with caps over them. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, all right, I'm going to pull this out and then, but then from this angle, you can see the, the ring right here. There's a couple of USB ports in the front. Other than that, there's a tiny little steam logo here. That's probably completely invisible. Maybe you can see it right there. Um, it probably lights up. We'll see when I get this thing plugged in. Otherwise, that's it. It's not very big. Uh, I'm excited to see how it plays. I'm very curious as to what this is here and why it's machined a little different, but um, I cannot tell just from looking here what the specs of the machine are. I can see a little bit into the case. You can kind of see some of the fan in there. Um, but I guess I'll have to uh, turn it on and see. All right, well, that's that. There's the case, controller, actual machine. All right, so that's my unboxing. Awkward with one person, no tripod, and just my phone for a camera, but uh, pretty cool. Um, Again, my name is Jessica Janik. You can find me at uh, on Twitter at JanikJF. That's J-A-N-I-U-K-J-F. I'm also on Google Plus. Jessica.Janik um, is, I believe, what my URL is there. It might just be Jessica Janik. Um, but you should be able to find me. My last name is pretty unique. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try it out. I'll probably shoot some more videos as I try it. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.